Chapter 9 Beelzebub I first met Beelzebub at my previous job, where we handled some needles. It was an odd job for both of us. Neither one of us thought we'd ever learn the skill. But we made a great time of it. Then I had to leave. I needed to find my way back on track with my interests. Although, I wasn't sure where I was headed exactly. We kept in touch until he stopped responding to my messages. Eventually, he wrote back, and boy, he had a story to tell. It involved a duel with a pig deer and a surprise attack from a black bird with a bald face. They left him on the ground in pieces. Crazy story. He ended up in the hospital for days. When he got put back together again, our paths crossed and we found ourselves riding the same train, working together again. Then I started getting a better idea on where I needed to go in my journey, and I invited him, along with other brave spirits, to join me in exploring unknown territory. Now, it's been 45 minutes. Maz and I are done working out in the lunar gym, and Beelzebub still hasn't come back. And so we went in search of him. It was pretty easy tracing his footsteps on the regolith. It led us to this building. It appeared empty inside, but there were two empty glasses on the counter and so we had a closer look. And that's when we noticed his boots on the floor. 